Hello again. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion of Voronoi diagrams by talking about something called the largest empty circle problem. So let's get started. The idea is that we're supposed to imagine the smallest convex polygon that contains all of the sites in a Voronoi diagram. So basically you're just creating a polygon that has uh, the sites as its vertices. Okay, this is a common thing that people forget when they're doing this problem is that the solution must be within that uh, polygon and it can't go outside of that polygon. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the largest possible circle so that the center is inside of that polygon, um, but it doesn't contain any of the sites. So that's what the problem is. It's sometimes called the toxic waste dump problem because you're trying to find the location of a toxic waste dump that is as far away as possible from any of the cities or sites that are uh, inside that Voronoi diagram, okay? Um, and it has to be placed, this toxic waste dump is like placed furthest from the nearest town. So that's basically the circle. Uh, so let's talk about the process. For each vertex in the Voronoi diagram, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what sites that vertex is equidistant from, because it's always equidistant from three sites. That's the definition of what a vertex is. We're gonna find the distance from that vertex to any of those sites, and it really doesn't matter because if it's equidistant, it's gonna be the same distance from all three sites. So once we find the distance to one, then it's gonna be the distance uh, to the other two. So the vertex that has the greatest distance to the nearest site is going to be the center of the largest circle. Okay, the distance from that vertex to the nearest site is going to be the radius of that circle. All right, so it's better to do this with a diagram. So I have a Voronoi diagram. There are five sites there, and there are three vertices. So basically, you can think of those five sites as being towns, and each of those vertices is a potential location for a toxic waste dump. And you want to know whether vertex 1, vertex 2, or vertex 3 would be the best choice because it would have to be furthest away from the nearest town. All right, so let's look at vertex one. Uh, there's the circle that touches sites A, B, and C. Those are the nearest towns to vertex one. So I wanna know what the distance is from vertex one to any of those three towns. It's gonna to be the same for all three. So I just use a distance formula uh, between vertex one and I just randomly chose site A, and the distance there is the square root of 50, which is like uh, seven point something, okay? And I'm gonna compare that to the other distances. So now I'm looking at vertex two, and that circle is, uh, that vertex rather, is equidistant from site A, site C, and site D. So the distance from vertex two to any one of those sites, um, and again, I randomly chose A, that's gonna be the square root of 80, again, using the distance formula to find that. And then finally, I'm looking at vertex three, and it is equidistant from uh, A, D, and E. Those are the closest towns to vertex three. And so I'm going to find the distance there using the distance formula again. And since A is involved, I'm gonna find the distance to site A, and that distance is square root of 85. So basically, I look at all of those distance, and I want that distance to be as big as possible. So the biggest distance there is the square root of 85. So it looks like vertex three is my best option, okay? So the center of the circle is going to be at vertex three, which has coordinates two and six. And the radius of that circle, the distance to the nearest town is going to be the square root of 85, which is just a little uh, higher than nine. Uh, so that is called the toxic waste dump problem or the greatest circle problem. Um, if you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.